Steve, why did you write dataism, and why right now? A number of things were coming together. Uh, what happens in technology is things bubble up for a long time. Uh, the internet really started, uh, the basic tools began in the 60s, but it was only the 90s. Things became possible to do. And what's happened with what we're calling data science or big data these days is simply that there's, there are new sources of data. We have powerful tools from the world of our artificial intelligence, the algorithms that clever algorithms to make sense of the data. Mm -hmm. um, and it's being possible to, to make this happen. And mm -hmm. we're, we're starting to move beyond the sort of internet incubators of this craft, if you will, like Google and Facebook, into the mainstream of the economy. And uh, mm -hmm. what I wanted to do is spend some time going out and uh, dwelling among them, as they say, <laughs> and uh, seeing where this technology shines and where it stumbles. And you do it so well. You make it very personal. You make it a story. You talk about people's characters. It's really such an interesting book. So what exactly is the central thesis of dataism? Again, that we're moving beyond. It's becoming a mainstream technology. And what I tried to do is write essentially a, a readable and relatively entertaining field guide to a world that we're all increasingly living in, whether we want to or not. 